Security is a major concern for most organizations today, and security breaches are occurring on an ongoing basis and only getting more dangerous as time goes by. What if you can continually assess your security posture? Spiron CyberFlood Data Breach Assessment emulates attacks, malware, and data loss prevention scenarios to continually validate security policies and efficacy in production networks using actual breach events. It also provides specific remediation recommendations to allow you to proactively harden your security policies. Data Breach Assessment provides a very easy to use multi-user web-based interface, allowing you to quickly and easily create assessments, and it also ties into an overall security ecosystem from the topology for assessment all the way through to handling SIM event correlation and incident tickets. Creating an assessment is very easy. You start out by drawing your overall topology and defining each zone of your security segmentation. You can apply different information of what's running on each segment or the system can automatically fingerprint services associated with the zone to help build proper attack lists. From there, you apply what virtual interfaces are going to be used for creating traffic between security zones. It's all virtualized and working in ESXi, KVM, Azure, and AWS environments. You can continue to add zones and create the overall topology that maps to your specific organization. After defining your security zones, it's now time to add the various devices and assets that are going to be assessed. Here you can select from a variety of different types of firewalls and other devices and apply them to your overall topology. Then you can create and build it out and from there define which direction you want the attack and other traffic to flow. Simply dragging and dropping defines the direction of the traffic and then you can apply what types of attacks, applications, and other scenarios you want to send between these agents and security zones. That is the basis of the overall assessment. This diagram here shows a flow of a kill chain that the overall assessment is going to produce. After it's all defined, you can have a very complex infrastructure associated with many different attacks, multiple directions of traffic flows. All of this will showcase the actual efficacy of the devices protecting different zones from attacks and other malign content. When the assessment is running, you can see which direction the traffic is flowing and what links are actually getting attacked. And it will show you exactly what's happening which attacks are getting through via the live reporting function. Data breach assessment is going to provide a lot of different information about what's happening during an assessment. What attacks got through? Which ones are being blocked or detected? This will validate exactly how well your security infrastructure is putting up with the attacks that are running through each of the various zones during the assessment. All of these reports are stored for further analysis and can tie directly into your SIM systems for event log correlation. After an assessment completes, you can see exactly what attacks got through and need the most attention in addition to tying these issues with your incident tracking response systems. Now let's take a look at a few of the advanced capabilities of data breach assessment. You can actually schedule assessments to run automatically at specific times of the day, week, or month. This allows you to do specific assessments at opportune moments that might showcase security deficiencies based on system load or other time-based events. Data breach assessment also provides the use of evasion techniques to mimic the behavior of attackers and hackers during an assessment. This changes the fundamental characteristics of the attacks and puts more pressure on the device or systems you're testing to validate how well they're going to work in real world attack and breach scenarios. Not always about attacks. Data breach assessment also provides sensitive information for the testing of data loss prevention scenarios and policies. Data breach assessment will automatically create or you can upload your own file sets that will validate if policies are allowing or disallowing specific data between zones. This verifies if certain information is protected or not protected on an ongoing basis. This has been a brief overview of data breach assessment. For more information, please go to spirant.com.